What is going on fellas and welcome back to another 5 year rebuild. Today we're going to be rocking with Colorado State. They're in the Mountain West Conference, a 3 star school. Unfortunately for us, they're only 75 overall. Their offense is okay, I guess at 81, but defense is only a 73. Normally teams in the Mountain West can put up around 85, especially when you're talking about like Boise State in this game. So this is going to be interesting mate. We'll see how it goes. Let's go. Ah yes, bold coach will be the man for the day. We went three and nine, three and nine, and four and eight. Jeez, at least we only have a target to improve year of six. Oh my goodness. So apparently they didn't get to finish Colorado State. Everybody on our team is quadruple X. We have Ola BC, a wide receiver who's 82 overall. We have Izzy quadruple X, who's an 84. Colby quadruple X and Tyler quadruple X. It would only take me a second to look up all of the names, but time is money. And I'm not going to lie. I kind of dig the idea of having quadruple X. We're going to rock with it like that. Let's go. So the good news is we do not need to pick up a quarterback or a running back, maybe a backup running back. But but the problem is there's only six people out of everybody interested that I like that have somewhat of potential. So, so I'm looking now. It's not coming up. I don't know who these guys are. I want to rename the freshman because I feel like it's only fair. If they're an 84 as a freshman, I feel like I got to rename them. Let's just call this guy Easy Chicken. Easy name to remember. I'm going to leave this left guard as Tyler Quadruple X. That's kind of a mad name, to be honest. All right, let's see what we got on low lock. Please show me some kind of results, please. Two four-star at hold on a second. We got a five-star running back down here. Oh my goodness. We might have to go ahead and redo our whole board, mate, because these players are amazing. We got a tight end. We don't need a quarter. Wait, we do need a quarterback. Never mind. We'll get a quarterback. All right. This has gone so well that I've literally gone ahead and filled the entire board, mate. 76 overall quarterback. He's got 57 carrying, but I think at this point I gotta take it. God, these guys are terrible. Can I get a high 70? Anybody? This athlete's a wide receiver. I'm getting him. This guy could be a safety. I'm going to go ahead and take him, hands down. I think I'm going to play this safe. Go ahead and take another wide receiver. At least we can get that out the way early. And then probably the tight end, to be completely honest. All right, we pick up one receiver and Antoine Wesley. Good to see, mate. We're only in bloody week 10. About time we got somebody. That's what I'm trying to see right there. Running back, wide receiver, right end. Another wide receiver. We got the quarterback. We're just going to start focusing on defense. This offense is literally ready to go. Maybe some O-linemen. We didn't even get O-linemen, did we? Man, that's my mistake. So, after year one, we had a target to win per year of six. We got nine, so we're up to a four-star schoolmate. Hopefully, something good comes of this. All right, we got our fullback transferring to Tulsa. No love loss there. We lose a bunch of 70s, mate. We literally lost nothing. We're chilling. All right, we get the 13th best class in the nation. Somehow, we didn't go up to a four-star prestige, but I don't know how that makes any sense. We got one five-star player, eight four-stars, three three-stars, five one-stars. Yeah, I don't understand that. Maybe we had to get 10 wins. Oh, right, we'll have to aim for that this year. <coughs> Say bless you. Don't be rude. And look at this. The class is even worse than it was last year, mate. Dude, okay. At least we know what we need to get, but this does not make it easier at all for us. I'm going to have to close my eyes and just hope I choose somebody that's good. So there's only two people from the initial class I like, Daniel Taylor and Andrew McCollum. We could use both of them. Might even go for Mike Odom, even though he's trash, just in case. I mean, you never know what happens with the o lineman, you know? Again, we just have to basically go after these goons and then hope when we simulate a couple weeks that they're going to be on our side. Demarcus Sanders. That sounds like a beastly player, I'm not gonna lie. All right, that's a 71 right there. And he's a 73, so we could go defensive ends. These guys are trash anyway. I'm wasting my time. Billy Palmer looks like a beast. Well, actually, there are some good pieces here. I'm gonna get the O-lineman, man. I'm gonna get both of these O-linemen. Just see what we can do. All right, that uh, 10 win season, no longer so flash hot anymore. We had two and four. That's no good. At least we can complete the whole alignment, even if this guy isn't really ready to start on the team at all. But let's do it anyway. This rebuild is going really, really good though, man. We are getting a lot of really solid talent. Talent that I definitely didn't think that we'd be getting. Unfortunately for us, the inexperience of the freshman quarterback has led us to a 4-8 and eight season. Some may say it would have been better to start the 88 overall over a 76. Not in terms of progression, man. We might go back down to a two-star, which is kind of a robbery because we should be a four star but it is what it is man we'll fight back just like louisiana tech all over again 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on. We're still safe, which is good. If we have another season like that, though, we might have to take up that defensive coordinator job of Ball State. Again, somebody transferring to Utah. He's only a 68 overall, though. No stress. We lose our punter. That's a 90. That's really it, man. We should be good. Like, this next year should be a guaranteed 10-win season. The players will go in season four, but at least we can take advantage of them while they're here. You know, get those wins. Hey, look at this. Dwayne Cox, the right tackle out of Arizona. That's what I'm talking about. The O-line is completely done right now. Now we can relax and focus on the rest of the team. Bet there goes two wide receivers, another running back. He probably won't be playing running back. Sign top class in the conference. That's going to give us the 42nd best class. We're down to a two-star? I mean, at least we got an 86 offense before training results. But, man, I, we went 0 and 8 in conference play. That really says something. We got three five-stars, though. One four-star. A lot of one stars and a couple three stars, but like getting three five stars is massive, mate. I'm not complaining about that season at all. So obviously the only things we need left are defensive players. I'm going to go ahead and grab this tackle just for the shits and gigs. What else do we have though? What else can we take care of? Cornerback. Another cornerback in Bo Murray. Good luck us. We got all the positions we need. Cornerback, defensive end, linebackers. We'll see what happens, man. All right. Please, RNG gods. We just need a couple low log goons. I'm not asking for the world, mate. Just give me something I can use. <laughs> we got two five-star athletes. Potential cornerbacks. Hopefully all these guys are cornerbacks, but uh, the main thing we need is linebackers. There goes one right there, not interested. Okay, we got the linebacker situation sorted. We just need those defensive linemen though. I don't think this could have gone any better for us, mate. Apart from this guy, we can go ahead and get rid of Dylan Givens. 278 overall linebackers. We got a mad cornerback and we got a 72 at defensive end. Jeez, mate, no matter how good we do, we just cannot be Boise State, can we? We have not lost by less than 21 points in any of these seasons. All right, still got nobody. <laughs> What's the update, though? We haven't signed anybody, but can we get some good news? Lead, lead. Yeah, we're still going down the list, mate. We got Lance Adams as well. Gonna give him scholarship and 700. I mean, that's pretty much a free commit. This guy is interested as well. Let's give him uh, 50 points. This is gonna be weird to say but with this class that we have right here with everybody interested in signing this is literally everything we need we have three cornerbacks hella outside linebackers some d linemen as well we even got a backup o lineman just in case somebody wants to leave so i'd say that we're good all right please be some good news what do we got Oh, we got everybody. Apart from Sean and Chase, not really a big deal. But, oh, look at that class, man. That's literally everything. Three cornerbacks, O linemen, three linebackers, two ends, mate. That's GG right there. Fortunately, we go seven and five, but you can't win them all, mate. Hopefully, we don't go down to a bloody one-star school, because that would just be tragic. Wait, rank first in points allowed? That's good. Our target win per year was six. We got seven. We did not get a bowl game though. So if we're a three-star school, that'll come in handy. Not that we're really going to be recruiting next year. The computer can do that. Declaring. <laughs> yeah, right. Actually, no, I think we should hold on to this guy, honestly. Same as Izzy Chicken. Why not just stick around, mate? I don't even know what to get anymore. The only guy that looks remotely good is Ross Starks. What is he but? Okay, he could play cornerback slash safety. He's going to play cornerback if he's on my team, I'll tell you that much. So this will be interesting. Are we finally back up to a three-star school or are we a rank one? We're three-star prestige. We got an 86 overall. That's before training results. We got the ninth best class in the nation. One five-star, nine four-stars. I think that might be a new record, mate. This actually might ironically be one of our best teams yet. I mean, we do have a 96 overall. Oh, he's going to get redshirted. Never mind. We got him for season five. Gonna put all of this on. No reason for us to recruit. Only bad thing is we got a red shirt. So this might be a tough year for us. But I don't think we're at risk of getting fired, which is the good thing. Look at all these senior red shirts that we're losing, mate. There's so many of them. We only have four seniors that can be red shirted, though. So we're gonna have three 99s, mate, just from the starters. And then we're gonna have like a 93 11. This team is gonna be so good, mate. So in season four, with four. Four of our best players redshirted. We are B plus, B plus, and B minus, which means next year we are pretty much guaranteed to be 99s across the board. Looking forward to it. And that being said, this is a simulation season. We got Boise, Air Force, UNM. We should look to get eight to nine wins minimum. I'm thinking here, even with the backup. So let's see what happens. Ah, we finally beat Boise. It's all up and up for the Rams. GG, Boise. Whoa, we got smashed by the Lobos. My goodness. Two to seven, mate. What happened to Boise, though?
Wow, the computer put in work. They signed a lot of 60 overalls. Good on them. Finalist for the Heisman. I wonder who that could be. The worst part is we didn't even get a bowl game. We finished eight and four, mate. How did we not get a bowl game? That <laughs> literally makes no sense, mate. Nice, the computer actually signed a lot of people. Four scholarships remaining. <laughs> they got the 55th best classmate, imagine. We are a four star prestige though, which should make the natty push very, very easy. My controller is acting up, that's fantastic. But yeah, computer didn't do very good at all, mate. They went after a lot of one stars for whatever reason. But we're a four star, that's the main thing. All right, in season five, we are A plus, A plus, and B plus, really. They're only a 90, are you serious? So as you know, when you have the coordinators, they boost the overalls of the players. So Darius Charles is a 98 with the offensive coordinator boost. He is 350 bazillion percent a 99 overall. We have a 99 running back, backups a 92. Our wide receiver, we have four 90s, mate. 87 tight end. The offensive line has three 90s on it, including a 99. We have an 87 DT, 91 right end. The cornerbacks can get it done though. You know what I mean? Free safety is 92, strong safety 87. Now, I mean, we'll see what happens. We haven't had a bowl game in like seven years. So let's go check it out, fellas. Hopefully we get 10 wins. All right, we are a coach of the year finalist, 10 consecutive wins, finalist for the Heisman, 6,000 plus offensive yards. We absolutely killed it, mate. I'm hoping that we went 12 and 0. I think we did. We are ranked third in the nation on a 12 and 0 record. How do we always do this, mate? We struggle the whole bloody rebuild, and the next thing you know, we're on top, mate, like it's nothing. All right, let's get it, man. UNLV, we're A plus, they're only a B. Wow, look at that, nearly 600 yards a game. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. You and LV, we do 48 31. Woo -hoo -hoo. Please, RNG gods, man. We need this natty count. Darius Charles wins the Heisman. He had 59 total touchdowns. Comment section, don't get angry. But Darius Charles might have just overtaken Keller. He had 5,240 yards. Is that better than Keller? Can somebody let me know? Got a million and one awards to go along with it. Won by Darius Charles. We won Coach of the Year. And we're rank one taking on Noda. Hey, let's go, boys. By far had the most passing yards. He had 4, 3, 40, 47 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, 965 yards by the backup. Chicken only had 800. Why did the, why did the starter, that's 99, oh, because he's a power back. Ah, makes sense. They combined for 19 touchdowns. Charles had 12 scrambling, bro, and 900 yards. He averaged six yards a carry. This is unbelievable. On the receiving end, Olabisi Oliver had damn near 1,700 yards and 20 touchdowns. He had 128.5 yards a game. Never mind, we were nowhere near the top. The most was 2,060 yards by Trevor Inslee in 1999. We weren't even in the top 20. Without further ado, fellas, I'm ready for for this natty game hopefully you guys are too i'm trying to get as many natty wins as possible in this series hopefully you guys are hyped let's jump into it all right bro all right let's see how the boys do on the simulation man oh my goodness this is the most scuffed game of all time come on offense third and one first and ten take the lead do it they turned it over oh really Go, baby! All a BC in the end zone! 98 receptions in a season, mate. What a dot! So I got our team the lead back. Let's see if they can hold on to it now. No stopping this Notre Dame team. Fourth and six. They're gonna take a field goal. This might be money. Come on. First a goal on the one. We have to score here. There we go. Let's do it, boys. Come on. Clutch skill activated. All that good stuff. Boo! Let's go, Wesley! There we go, the tight end! <laughs> That's nearly field goal range. We get this first down, that might be GG. Close to GG, but not exactly GG. Looking good, looking good! We got it! Let's go! Let's go, Colorado State. Easy work, baby. We didn't have a bowl game last year, the year before. But here we are in season five with a true freshman making the go-ahead field goal to win the game, mate. Unbelievable. Bold coach is our national championship winner. Just like that. All right, man, our Heisman winner quarterback had 430 yards, five touchdowns, three picks. One of those picks was me and nearly cost us the game. Izzy Chicken was 78. Receiving it, Ola BC Oliver. Wait, he had like 1,600. We just jumped into the top 10. 
second in receiving in a single season with that 230 yard game right there offensive line played amazing mate 10 pancakes to one sack and on the defensive end fantastic all around i don't think we forced any turnovers we didn't need to as we still come away with the dub but that being said fellas you made it this far into the video you are the real mvp hope the rest of your day is awesome and from me personally i'm out peace